Hello, welcome to the Ingleside Public Library's virtual sleep tight story time. Tonight's book will be Fran Dad Bud, a Veterans Day Story by Sharon Ferry. Today is Veterans Day. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I do know it's something to do with all the people who fought in the wars for our country. They're called veterans. My granddad, Bud, is a veteran. He was in the Navy in World War II. That was a long time ago. I know because he was a young man back then, and now he's 90 years old. Granddad Bud is coming to my school today for Veterans Day. Our school has invited some veterans to come in. We're having an assembly that was organized by some of the teachers and parents. There are going to be some speakers, including Granddad. Our school band is playing and we're having refreshments afterwards. I don't really know what Granddad Bud is going to say. I sometimes hear him tell stories about the war when we were at family parties. It doesn't seem that interesting to me, just like Veterans Day doesn't seem like a real interesting holiday. Not like Halloween or Fourth of July. My class is ready for the assembly. We sit on the floor as the principal talks and introduces all the adults who are here today. Granddad Bud walks in and waves at me. Wow, he looks really important wearing his jacket with all the medals and ribbons on it. All the kids stop talking and look at him as he steps up to the microphone, even Jacob who hardly ever stops talking. Granddad Bud clears his throat and looks out at the audience. He tells us that Veterans Day was started in the year 1919 and was originally called Ar Armistic Day. It was meant to celebrate the peace after the First World War. Years later, it was changed to Veterans Day as a way of honoring all veterans from all the wars that had taken place. He tells us ways that people sometimes celebrate the day by going to parades, visiting veterans in hospitals, or making cards and collecting things to send to veterans groups. The President of the United States lays a wreath on the tomb of the Unknown Soldier, which is a grave near Washington, D.C. that honors all veterans who never made it home. Then Granddad Bud talks about being in the war. While he was in the Navy, he lived on a ship for over two years. He worked on the control room down below the deck. He and his friends worried about the ship being attacked and sometimes it was by enemy submarines or enemy planes. Granddad Bud tells us that Japan was the enemy back then. Now we're all friends. There were our countries that were fighting each other during World War II. Granddad Bud missed his family when he was away fighting in the war. He would get letters, but sometimes it was hard for the mail to be delivered to his ship, and he wouldn't hear from his wife and daughter for a long time. 
Sometimes they didn't get a bit they didn't get a letter from him for a long time either. Then they would worry that something bad had happened to him. Nothing had nothing bad had happened to Grand Dad Bud. Excuse me. But some of his friends died in the war. He says it still makes him sad to think about all the brave men and women who lost their lives fighting for their country. He says that we should pray for them and for all the people who are still serving in the military to help America to continue to be free and a great country. I looked around me. Everyone is still quiet and they're all looking at my granddad bud. They seem to be amazed at his story of being in the war. When he's finished, some of us, some of the other veterans have a turn to talk. One of them was in the Vietnam War in the 1970s. One of the women served in the Gulf War in the 1990s. I can tell that all the kids think these veterans are really brave. After the assembly, I get to talk. I get to talk to Granddad Bud. He winks at me as I walk over to him with some of the kids in my class. Lots of kids are gathered around him, asking questions about the war. He's very patient and answers each one. I feel so proud of him. One of the students asks Granddad about Veterans Museum which is not far from here. He tells us that we can visit anytime we want at, and the schools can even go on field trips there to learn more about veterans and the wars in which they fought. He says that the slogan of the museum is learn, honor, and remember. And that was the end. Learn, honor, and remember. I think that's what Granddad Bud helped us do today. The end. Now remember, if you see a veteran, don't forget to thank them for their services. I hope you enjoyed this book. Now, good night and sleep tight.